On March 17, 2007, the body of Rebecca Klein was discovered in the trunk of her 1966 Ford Mustang after Klein's domestic partner of seven years, Nicola Basheriff, reported her missing. Klein was found bound with duct tape, gagged with a bandana, blindfolded, and suffocated with a plastic bag over her head. Four days later, a bus sheriff was charged with first-degree murder and concealing of a homicide. Villa Park police officers believe a bus sheriff killed Klein on March 15, 2007, two days before her body was found. After a bus sheriff allegedly suffocated Klein to death, she went out with another woman, 19-year-old Rose Sodaro, whom she met on the social networking site MySpace. That night, a bus sheriff and Sodaro went bowling in Tinley Park, then returned to a bus sheriff's home where they engaged in sexual intercourse. Sodaro believed that Klein was a bus sheriff's roommate, not her life partner. In addition to her relationship with Sodaro, police also believe that a bus sheriff was motivated to kill Klein due to a $400,000 insurance payout. Forensic scientists found fingerprints on the duct tape and plastic bag belonging to a bus sheriff, as well as her DNA on the bandana. Prosecutors also uncovered a slew of lies a bus sheriff allegedly told including stating to Sodaro that she had been a New York City firefighter during the September 11, 2001 attacks. A bus sheriff, who was also an alcoholic, claimed to have liver cancer and told Sodaro that her alcoholism would lead to her death. A bus sheriff also brought Sodaro to a funeral home, where she dramatically selected her own casket. During the police's investigation into the murder of Klein, a bus sheriff's co-worker at a day plane's security company, Robert L. Edwards, was charged with five counts of obstructing justice for allegedly lying about his whereabouts when Klein was believed to have been murdered. Police focused on Edwards during their initial investigation because he was at a bus sheriff and Klein's residence on March 16, 2007 during the search for Klein. He later admitted to police that he and a bus sheriff were drug buddies who shared wild sex fantasies. Initially Edwards was on a $1 million bail which was later reduced to $500,000. After being indicted on first-degree murder charges, a bus sheriff was held at the DuPage County Jail on a $3 million bond, later lowered to $1 million. After bonding out of jail, a bus sheriff was put on home confinement in her Oak Lawn apartment. However, on April 25, 2008, a bus sheriff violated her bail by leaving her apartment to visit a family member's home next door. Although Assistant State's Attorney Joseph Ruggiero applied to have a bus sheriff's bail revoked, her bail was only increased by $100,000. She returned to county jail, but was back out on bail before her trial began. In November 2008, Robert L. Edwards went to trial on charges of obstructing justice. Villa Park police still believed he was not involved in Becky Klein's murder, but he was convicted of the obstruction charges and sentenced to 75 days at the DuPage County, Illinois work camp. Nicola Busheriff's jury trial commenced on April 20, 2009. Though Robert Edwards did not testify for the prosecution, Rose Sodaro did, as well as many members of Klein's family. A Busheriff also testified in her own defense. When confronted with the evidence against her, she admitted lying during the police investigation. The defense hinged on whether a bus sheriff would have been physically able to kill Klein. A bus sheriff's defense attorneys, Bob Parcham and Dennis Sopata, maintained that a bus sheriff had a bad back, and would not have been able to subdue Klein, who weighed 40 pounds more than her. While a bus sheriff's attorneys were skeptical of gaining an acquittal, they were able to prove that Klein's murder was not cold calculated and premeditated, as the prosecution requested. That eliminated the possibility for a sentence of life in prison without parole. On May 5, 2009, a bus sheriff was convicted of first-degree murder in the death of Becky Klein after 13 hours of jury deliberation. She faced up to 60 years in prison, but Judge John Kinsella sentenced a bus sheriff to 50 years incarceration. She will have to serve 100% of her sentence before being eligible for parole, at the age of 76. A bus sheriff's conviction was affirmed by the 2nd District of the Illinois Appellate Court on March 4, 2011.